In describing the relationship between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, Allah states in the Quran, and Allah took for himself Ibrahim as his own Khalil. What does the word Khalil mean? It's very difficult to find an exact word in English that gives you the proper meaning. But I can say that Khalil is the highest form of love that anyone can experience. It's a type of love and connection that you have with someone after a long standing friendship. This friendship has to be a type where you've gone through thick and thin together. The meaning of Khalil in Arabic also means to oppose everything that is against a beloved one of yours and that you are always standing by them in absolute loyalty. We see in the story of Ibrahim السلام, all of these things developing over time until he reached this level of a relationship with Allah. But before I go on, this specific relationship was also shared by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the final and last Prophet and also his great grandson. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said to his companions once the same thing. He said, if I were to take anyone as that person at that high level of friendship and love, I would have chosen Abu Bakr. He said, but Ar-Rahman, the most merciful, has taken your companion, meaning Muhammad وسلم, as his own Khalil. Meaning he only turns to Allah at time of need, the ups and downs. How did Prophet Ibrahim السلام, become the Khalil of Allah at that enormous and tremendous rank? Well, now we can understand the entire life of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his connection with Allah developing into this. When we look back at the time when his father abandoned him, he lost that one. But who was there for him? Allah. When he said, I will call upon Allah to forgive you, Father, he never rejects a request that I make. When we see Prophet Ibrahim السلام, facing his people, they all bully him, they call him names and they threaten him. He turns to Allah and knows that Allah is there for him. When he sees the star, the sun and the moon, and he wants to teach his people a lesson about God being above all of them, he said to his people, I am innocent from everything you worship and everything that you follow other than Allah, and my loyalty is to Allah. When we see him being thrown into the fire, and everyone has abandoned him, his family, his close relatives, his own father and mother, everyone. He turns and says, Allah is sufficient for me. And how best is he one to rely on? When we see Prophet Ibrahim facing the king and he is exiled from the land, he is in the middle of a barren desert, losing his home and his family. He says, I am going to my Lord. He will keep me guided and look after me. When we see Prophet Ibrahim السلام, losing his own spouse, his wife, not knowing if she will come back alive or dead or whether he'll ever see her again, he relies on Allah. And even Sarah, his wife, says, Allah looked after us. When Prophet Ibrahim has commanded to put his own son Ismail to slaughter, which is something that is almost inconceivable to the mind. We can't understand it unless we had foresight and wisdom of a higher order a special command from Allah to tell him to slaughter his own son. Why? He was preparing him for an enormous mission, which is not upon us. And now we can understand. It's just like when you train or governments train elite forces and the way they train them is almost looks like torture from a person who is sitting back in their peaceful home. But if they're going to defend the country and they're going to be loyal to their country and they're going to stand up with no emotions or mental challenges coming in their way and they don't lose their focus, they have to take away all those weaknesses. So Allah did the same with Prophet Ibrahim. Also, we see Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam turning to Allah and relying on him, even in that most emotional and mentally tormenting situation. He passed and Allah was there for him. You see, Allah says in the Quran, وَكَذَلِكَ يَجْتَبِيكَ رَبُّكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, and so this is how Allah chooses you. He said this to all the prophets. What is this choice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on? Everyone that Allah chooses for a high ranking purpose in life, He puts them through intense trials and tests. And when they pass that test, they become chosen. 
and you, my dear brother and sister, can also become chosen through your trials and tests. So be patient and only think well of Allah as Ibrahim salam thought, and perhaps Allah is choosing you for an enormous purpose above all. Brothers and sisters, Prophet Ibrahim salam, in him were all the traits of what makes him at that high rank of enormous love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was an uswa, which means the greatest or among the greatest of role models for all people to come till the end of time. He was the epitome of an example of reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His true trust and tawakkul in Allah was everything. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was the one who teaches us how patience and, and endurance through hardships and struggles is attained through the highest form of true meaning of sabr. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam is the example of great wisdom, great knowledge, and the one of obedience and true submission of what the word Islam really means through all these trials and never abandoning his Lord or his Lord abandoning him came about this enormous relationship called the Khalil. And Muhammad وسلم, being the seal of the prophethood shared this same relationship with Allah and they taught us to work towards getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whereas if we were to lose any of our loved ones around us, whether we were to lose anything that was dear to our hearts in our life, no matter what hardships we go through, what excitement and happiness or sadness and grief we go to, he told us, I am always there for you. I end it with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he says, قَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمٌ There has come to you a great example and a guide in Ibrahim. مِلَّةَ أَبِيكُمْ إِبْرَاهِيمٌ